since 1990, we have spent millions of euros and tens of thousands of research hours to find scientific answers to life's most important and challenging questions. What makes us happy? What makes us healthy? How can we heal from physical and mental disease? How can we heal emotionally and sexually so we can be happy in our relationships? How can we develop our talents and be of value to the world? We have interviewed more than 15,000 people and asked more than 4,000 different questions. After 20 years of intensive research, we are beginning to find the answers we have been looking for for so long. We have already presented these answers in 250 research papers and about 30 books. Now we bring it all to you. Drugs and politics. Uh, this is the title of an editorial in the International Journal of Disability and Human Development. Uh, and uh, here your Mag and I are discussing the war on drugs. Uh, in the whole world, there seems to be a belief that drugs are dangerous, like morphine and heroin. That if you're trying it, if it's on the market, then you will be destroyed because you will, you will try it. It's so good that uh, you will never get off it again. But of course, it's not the case. If you're not suffering enormously, if you're not uh, in a lot of pain, then morphine and hearing has no interest. You see this in patients in hospital, normal people coming in in severe pain, they're getting morphine, but they're not becoming morphinists, you see. Uh, so if, you, if you're normal, if you are happy, if you have a good life, these drugs has no interest for you. If you are suffering, if you are in a horrible existential condition, if you are in severe pain, physically, physically or, 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 or mentally or existentially, then these drugs are good. The problems are not really the drugs, as you see, but the pain. And what you do if, if you're not allowing these people to, to take the drugs is that you are uh, forcing them to, to stay in pain. And, and, and so so uh, the drugs are not bad in that sense. Um, like morphine, you cannot say it's a bad drug. Uh, you can say that uh, there are side effects, of course, and there are effects. Uh, but when the whole world is going against these drugs, like uh, uh, cocaine, morphine, the hallucinogenic drugs, LSD, uh, miscellin, all, all these different drugs that we are uh, forbidding and going against, then we are creating a mafia. We are channelizing money to an underworld and we are uh, we are nurturing a world that forces uh, millions of young girls into prostitution the young girls who are suffering and having an extremely hard life and therefore uh, have benefit from the drugs they become prostitutes and slaves of uh, uh, of of, uh, of a mafia uh, so so the war on drugs is, 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 is totally, totally stupid. The people who are running this are getting votes because they can make normal people understand or, or believe that this is uh, you know, a good thing to do, to take these dangerous drugs off the market and, uh, and, and fight the criminals, but, but it's really ridiculous. Uh, the only solution is to, to, to put uh, these drugs in the market, make them available, uh, and they cost nothing, you know. Uh, a shot of morphine is uh, a tenth of a euro or so. So, so they're, they're, they're for free. So, uh, I'm, I'm not saying it's a good idea to take these drugs. I think these people need therapy. But uh, to, 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 to have this war on drugs that, that uh, creates this, this criminal underworld and, uh, and uh, all these problems with dirty needles uh, and syringes, uh, HIV spreading and uh, early death for thousands and thousands of, uh, of young people. It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. It's uh, ignorance. So, 
And this is why we, we go against that and say, put, put the trucks free and stop the war trucks.